At MikeY we have a range of polished plasters. Among these is Crydesite Stucco Fine, which gives a luxurious marble-like finish, often referred to as Venetian plaster. Matt will take us through the stages of preparing and applying the backing coat and the stucco fine, and then show us how to finish and achieve that marbled effect. We're going to show the procedure for mixing up the lime wall finish. A nice bucket of clean tap water, measured out, and you add the powder to the water while whisking. It's done this way because if you add the water to the powder, you tend to get quite big lumps. As you're mixing, use a trowel to clean around the edge of the bucket to stop any dry residue and lumps forming. Being a lime product, the more it is whisked or stirred, the more loose it will become and more sticky. The lime wall finish comes in three grades, smooth, fine and medium. The smooth we tend to use for Venetian polished plasters and the stucco fine. The lime wall finish in the different grades is also a finished plaster in its own right and can be tinted with lime safe pigments. The lime wall finish is applied in about a 2mm thickness with two 1mm coats with a mesh embedding. The mesh will hold itself there when pushed into the first coat with a trowel. The second coat will bury the mesh so you don't see it through the finished coats. The different grades of lime wall finish are finished differently. If you're doing a thin coat Venetian plaster like the stucco fine, you want to use the smooth lime wall finish and you want a nice clean flat finish. Once it's dried, it can be sanded to remove any lumps because these will be visible through the finished plaster. If you're applying Tadalat or Marmarino, you can use the fine grade lime wall finish it will leave a slightly more open texture and give a better key for the plaster. When mixing the stucco fine, clean water is measured out and then if you are using pigments, the pigment is added to the water and then thoroughly mixed. This will help to make sure the pigment is evenly distributed in the water. The powder can then be added while whisking thoroughly.
As you are mixing, clean around the edge of the bucket with a trowel to remove any dry particles. If these are left, they can fall into the plaster and they'll cause drag marks when applied to the wall. There are many ways of applying the stucco fine. If you apply the first coat in lots of dabs and then gradually link them up to get 100% coverage, let them fully dry and then do the same with the second coat, you'll get a lot more movement in the finished product. Try to move your trowel in small organic movements. You don't want to be applying vertically up and down or horizontally left to right because you will see these trowel marks. The smaller and less straight the movement of the trowel, the more you will hide your trowel marks. With this particular colour being dark, you can use your Pavan stainless steel trowel to burnish. If you're using a white or light colour finish, you would want to switch from your stainless steel trowel to a plastic trowel.
Once the second coat of the stucco is flattened in and burnished, you can then apply a polishing soap. We use an olive soap. This is diluted and sprayed onto the surface. Don't use a brush to apply it because the marks of the brush may stay on the plaster. If you use a spray bottle and then trowel it into the surface, this will give a higher sheen. The polishing soap will also give dirt and water repellency, though it shouldn't be used in a water area. After a day or two, once the plaster is fully dry, you can apply a Punic wax. This can be applied with a trowel or a cloth, and then it can be buffed up with a polishing machine using a lambswool bonnet. <laughs> 